Use memo and use callback are completely useless in most of your React applications. And let me show you why. So here we have this grant child component, which receives items and on click as props. And then it uses those inside of its body here. The on click is getting passed to this use effect over here because we are using it inside of the body of the event handler function here. And the items are getting passed to this component here, which is expensive and memoized because it needs it as its dependencies. Of course, this component here is memoized using memo from React. Now, here's the thing. For this component to be efficient and to not have any performance problems, both of these props over here better be memoized because if they're not, this use effect is going to run on every render and it's going to unnecessarily recreate this event listener and this expensive component here is going to be rendered unnecessarily. Now, let's go one layer up and see the child component and see what it does. So the child component also receives items as props over here. It then takes those items and it processes them using a use memo over here and for each item, it will make it into uppercase and then it creates this handle click function here and it uses use callback to provide a stable reference and then it passes both of those to the grandchild as its props so over here so far so good everything seems to be memoized we have use memo we have use callback and these are valid use cases for memoization in this component but now let's go to the parent and let's see what the parent is doing because i have a funny feeling that it is going to be the source of all the problems the parent component is pretty simple it doesn't take in any props the only thing that it does is it creates this items array over here, which it passes to the child as its props. Now, I hope that you can see this, but we have a huge problem here. This items array is not memoized at all and it's being passed to the props of the child. And this in turn is getting passed all the way down the chain. Effectively, what we have here is we have this items array here that is breaking all of the memoization that we've done in every single one of our components. Now, of course, I know what you're gonna say. You're gonna say, well, why don't we just wrap this inside of a use memo to make this a stable reference? Or even better, why don't we put this items array here outside of the component because it doesn't depend on anything. And although you would be right and it would fix this specific problem, that's not the point that I'm trying to make with this video. The point that I'm trying to make is that obsessing over every single component, function, variable, dependency array is an uphill battle that is usually not worth fighting. Because in a real application, you might have hundreds of these components scattered all around, and you have to now go and look in every single one of those components, in every single hook, every single dependency array, and make sure that everything is passed correctly. That is insane, and you're going to drive yourself crazy just to fix that one simple performance problem in this component.